Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Now when you set up exhibitions and you are debating and brainstorming what sort of objects should we have in this exhibition, what are the main stories we are trying to, set, to tell, what are the themes and so on of this exhibition, what is the flow going to be like, all of that you will also probably uh, be used to setting up documents or creating documents around visitor uh, learning outcomes, around uh, visitor experiences, it could be part of uh, an interpretation brief document or something like that. There are bound to be templates or standard documents that your, organi your organization uh, normally use for this kind of thing and that you have to, in interpretation, to um, fill in or to create uh, as you uh, go along in this work and as you work with um, your teammates and your colleagues, both internally and externally as well. But when looking at what it is you're trying to capture, when you're looking at the actual content and so on of the exhibition, is there a kind of template or model you can use to actually make sure that you are reaching the goal and the messages that you're trying to with this particular exhibition that you're putting up? Well, I've tried to come up with an exhibition interpretation model that seeks to capture the different ideas, stories uh, and the ways in which they are interpreted. So let's just have a look at it. Now, I've always said that interpretation really is two things, it's content and it's experiences. So if you look at the content for an exhibition, that's your actual uh, physical content. So objects, items, artworks, whatever it is you're displaying. Um, it can also be interactives, a call to actions. It can be usually text, audio, video, all that, and usually also uh, graphics. It can be a much more than this, but there is bound to be some sort of physical content. With that content, what you're trying to do is to create certain experiences. You're trying to convey certain feelings, emotional, emotions, social context, uh, an atmosphere or a mood of a specific time or object or story. And you're also trying to use memories and sometimes personal stories to convey these experiences. And you're doing that through the objects and via the objects and uh, via the content, the graphic, the audio, the videos and so on uh, that you're using as part of the content. What you end up with, hopefully, is the sense of relevance and meaning, ma meaning making. It's an understanding you're trying to create in your audiences. It can also be certain learning perspectives sometimes, hopefully something that leads to more reflection, more analysis, and hopefully also spark uh, a lot of curiosity and further exploration in your uh, in your visitors. So what you end up really with is this little calculation that goes, if you have your content, you plus it with your experiences, what you end up with hopefully should be your messages and your outcomes. Now there are many, many ways of setting something like this up and creating an actual model for the interpretation and for capturing the content from a curatorial perspective and from an interpretation and storytelling perspective when we're talking about exhibitions. What are your experiences um, around this? Is there a specific way, model, template, structure you, you used to apply to this and what do you feel work best for you? Do share your thoughts.